Hi, um, just a clip to show how I'm going to uh, clean these injectors before installing them. I did buy them on eBay saying they were all cleaned and ready to go but um, a quick test showed they were far from it. Um, I, I'm using this, it's carb clean, I don't know if you have it in your country but we have it here in Australia, heavy duty carb cleaner, it, it's pretty vicious stuff. Um, but it does breaks down carbon really well um, but because it's so harsh I, I'm mixing it with emptying the can and mixing it with 50 50 of, of this to reduce the harshness I don't want to damage the injector um, so I, up to you what you use but that's what I use is the CRC cleaner carb and the liquid moly fuel injector cleaner um, I have a battery here to which I've connected a uh, the fitting, a spare fitting for these injectors and also I have a compressor running at just over 3 bar which is um, basically what the engine runs plus a little bit more to get rid of some stubborn carbon that won't move um, with the option to turn it up if I want to and a tray to catch the, the dirty cleaner in. Um, so I'll show you show you how I do this in a little while. Okay, this is how I do it. I the hose that I've chosen is a nice tight fit and it pushes on it nice and firm so that it doesn't come off under pressure that I'm going to use, being the same as the car pressure. And then this, the length of the tube is to allow me to put a fair bit of cleaner in it. Um, if it's a very short tube, you can't get much cleaning through it. Um, then I fill the hose as so with the cleaning mix until the hose is full. Some people do this just with a, a syringe, with syringe pressure, but it, it just isn't enough pressure to do the job properly. So I like to use compressed air with a regulator set at three bar. I actually go touch over. All right, then I test, make sure the hose doesn't blow off under that pressure. Then I grab this and put it on. Only softly to start with because you, you want to keep the pressure up while you're going. And then you just wriggle it until you run out of cleaner. And until the, the nozzles require, reach the required spray pattern. I'm really happy with this one now. I've done it a few times already. And now it's empty. Um, after which you pop it off and it, I've probably done them about six times to get the desired effect they all look identical now to spray patterns but I'll do them one more time before installing them and that's basically how I clean them and I have been very successful doing so thank you for watching my clip Just a tip, um, if you want to back flush them, you can. Um, I use a pair of vice grips or multi grips or a lock jaw with a wood screw. Um, I have two different sizes, one fine one and one a bit coarser just in case you need it. Um, you don't want to make that too long you may damage the internals of the injector okay so the injector filter is in there not sure if you can see it um, then you put the tapered wood screw in like so then hopefully with some wriggling and pulling it will come out. <clears throat> there you go. That is the old filter.
Um, it just if you back flush your injectors, you can't really do that with the filter in because the, the particles will go backwards and clog against the outside of the filter, which in effect makes that purpose, that way of flushing useless because they'll just go back into the injector when it's running. Um, these little filters are about $2.50 at the local auto shop. It's well worth doing. Um, so, and to put them back in, after you've flushed it, and you've flushed it both ways, you pop it in like so, and you tap it in with a plastic handled screwdriver, fairly hard plastic. Don't use metal because you'll damage the brass ring. And you tap it in until it's flush. Um, but otherwise, um, it will flush fine, but sometimes carbon builds up on the inside and becomes a large piece. And when you back flush, it will just hit the filter and work its way back down to the nozzle and it will give you blocked holes. So just a little tip, if you want to flush backwards, if they're very dirty, you can do that. And it's cheap insurance to just $2.50 an injector. It's not too bad. Um, you can probably find even cheaper. Um, I'll carry on now with the flushing.